Hi, my name is Rohit Patel. I will tell you about the generations of the mobile communication system. First, first generation. In the late 1990s, AT&T Bell Laboratories developed the first US cellular telephone system called the Advanced Mobile Phone Service. The MPS was launched by US. It was based on FDMA multiple access technique. It allow voice call in one country analog system. And there were a lot of specifications in AMPS that were multiple access technique was FDMA, channel bandwidth was 30 kilowatts, voice modulation was FM, spectral efficiency was uh, 0.33 bits per second per voltage. And the number of channels were 832. And there were a lot of problems in the AMPS. That's were poor voice quality, poor battery life, big phone size, no security, frequent call drops, limited capacity, poor hand of reliability. Now I will tell you about the second generation. It was based on the global system for mobile, that is GSM. Global system for mobile is a second generation cellular system standard that was developed to solve the fragmentation problems of the first cellular system in Europe. GSM was the world's first cellular system to specify digital modulation and network label architectures and service. And is the world's most popular 2G technology. Actually, it, it was using the digital modulation, so it was better than the analog modulation. It, it, it was included GSM, digital AMPS, CDMA means a code division multiple access, personal digital communication means PDC, and a multiple digital system. Actually, GSM can divide into the two standards. That was TDMA means uh, time division multiple access and CDMA that was uh, that is uh, code division multiple access and uh, GSM also having a lot of problems that is uh, that's our uh, transmission quality, sporty coverage, video not support and uh, system capacity limited coverage area by the towers and uh, abrupt call drops. That's now I will tell you about the 3G technology, means third generation technology. 3G networks provide the ability to transfer voice data and non-voice data. That, that's our music downloads, email, and instant messaging over the same network simultaneously. 3G networks deliver bro broadband capacity and support greater number of voice and data customers at lower incremental cost than 2G. Basically 3G works on two standard. That's our WCDMA means wideband code division multiple access and EBDO means evolution data optimization. And it's having less complexity and faster transmission. It's having large capacity and broadband capabilities and allows the transmission of 384 kbps for mobile system and up to 2 mbps it has increased the spectrum efficiency up to 5 mega hertz a greater number of users that can be simultaneously supported by a radio frequency bandwidth and high data rates at the low incremental cost than 2G global roaming. And there were a lot of problems in 3G also. That's were high bandwidth requirement, high spectrum licensing fees, and huge capital. Now I will tell you about the fourth generation technology. 4G also called successor of 3G technology. It's having the high data rate that is 2200 Mbps and uh, it's also having high resolution movies and TV. 4G actually, actually 4G technology is based on the IP services, IPv6, 
which having 20 128 bits it's having lower cost than previous generation and faster and more reliable and uh, it is beneficial for all the consumers and as well as business persons uh, for consumers it is beneficial in video streaming tv video calls and uh, video clips news music sports chat gps system and telemedicine and for business for business business purpose uh, it's having high speed networking vpn access sale sports automation video conferencing and real time financial information that's 